Here are the top three Ahsoka moments that you need to see before you watch the Ahsoka series that comes out very soon. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and drop a like. Before we dive into watching these top three moments for Ahsoka, here are my honorable mentions that didn't quite make it into the top three. A big aspect of the character of Ahsoka is that she actually left the Jedi Order and in my opinion represents what Anakin could have done in the life he could have led with Padme. That's why one of my honorable mentions is her actually leaving the Jedi Order. Another honorable mention is when Ezra actually goes into the world between worlds and saves her life after her fight with Darth Vader. I think this part of her story when she's actually pulled out of the Star Wars timeline and it ends up saving her life, I think that is a really major turning point for this character. She kind of gets outside of the timeline and she sees everything that's happened and it really gives her some time to reflect and she eventually leaves Ezra and not join him to go fight Thrawn. With those honorable mentions, let's dive right into the top three. Starting off with number three, if you haven't watched Rebels, this is super important for the Ahsoka show, and it's the end of Rebels. So, spoiler if you haven't seen it, but this is my number three. Let's take a watch. As for me, I used to think that Ezra was counting on me to protect Lothal, the planet and the people he cared for so much. But one day, I realized there was more to it. There was something else I was meant to do. There she is. Ezra's out there somewhere. And it's time to bring him home. Right, there is our number three spot the end of the rebels animated series if you haven't watched it please go watch it it's some of the best star wars you'll ever see but this is important because this leads us directly into the story of ahsoka we kind of got a little bit of that with the mandalorian when she's asking where thrawn is because at the end of rebels ezra sacrifices himself to take out thrawn and they go to these unknown regions so we're going to find out where they're at and what they've been doing in the ahsoka series so this is a really important lead in into the actual show. Let's move on to number two. At our number two spot, we have the Darth Vader and Ahsoka fight. I think this is such a major turning point for her character. Let's take a watch. How did you accomplish this? You're smart, figure it out. No matter, the power within will soon serve the Emperor. I don't fear you. Then you will die braver. Ezra's so sick, and I love his lightsaber. With a blaster on it, it's so cool. It's, it's unfortunate what happens here, obviously. <laughs> Very cool concept, though. I'd love to see him rebuild it. Perhaps I was wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. It was foretold that you would be here. Our long-awaited meeting has come at last. I'm glad I gave you something to look forward to. We need not be adversaries. The Emperor will show you mercy if you tell me where the remaining Jedi can be found. There are no Jedi. You and your Inquisitors have seen to that. Perhaps this child will confess what you will not. I was beginning to believe I knew who you were behind that mask. But it's impossible. My master could never be as vile as you. Anakin Skywalker God. was weak. I destroyed him. Then I will avenge his death. Revenge is not the Jedi way. I am no Jedi. Man, this, this fight gives me chills. Just hearing them talk to each other, the music, it's so perfect. I love it. I really want to see the first time that she meets Luke Skywalker and has a conversation about his father.
I really hope they explore how she gets her white lightsabers as well, because I think I think it's such a cool story. And if you if you don't know it, I highly recommend you looking into it. And maybe I'll make a video about it. So put in the comments if I should make a video about how she actually got her white lightsabers. Are we gonna skip ahead a little bit? Kanan, love him. Oh, such a good Jedi. Chopper. Can't wait to see him again. If you don't know, that's that's a Sith holocron. That's what that looks like. Chills. I won't leave you. Not this time. Ugh. And that leads into uh, later in the series, obviously, but highly recommend you go watch it. That is only our number two spot. Obviously, I'm very passionate about this, and I love that scene, that episode, so, so much. It's a huge point in her story, realizing that even some of the people that you have the highest admiration for, the highest admiration for can be so dark and do evil things, especially whenever people they care about are in danger or they believe they're in danger. I think this was really the final lesson that Anakin Skywalker could teach Ahsoka. And I'm so glad that it seems like she really took that away from this. If you've not watched Clone Wars, I don't know what you're doing. You have to watch Clone Wars. It's the introduction of Ahsoka, and it's the bulk of what we've seen of her story so far. And in Clone Wars, there's an arc called the Mortis arc. And you really see the embodiments of the Force. You see the light side with the daughter. You see the dark side with the son. And then you see somewhere in the middle with the father. And it's, this is a really important scene for the character of Ahsoka. It's an important scene for the Force itself, the entire idea of the Force. This scene takes the number one spot because I think it's going to be playing the biggest part and the biggest role in the Ahsoka series. Without further ado, let's move on to our number one spot that you need to see before you watch the Ahsoka series. All right, so here on this Mortis arc, Ahsoka actually died. But the daughter is also dying, so let's take a look. Can you help her? There is no light. The evil has been unleashed, and the dark side shall consume her. You must help her. I cannot undo what is done. This is the father. There is no hope. Yes, there is. There's always hope. I wish he would have stuck to his advice. And there's the daughter. So important. So important. Then let my daughter's last act be to breathe life into your friend. Snips. What's going on? Uh, not much. It's good to see you. And there you are. That was the number one spot on my list. 
I think it's such an important part because if you didn't know anything about the Mortis arc, the daughter is the embodiment of the light side of the force. And Anakin, with the help of the father, transfers the life essence of the light side of the force into Ahsoka. This is why that alien bird thing follows her around all the time, because that is essentially the daughter of the force. Because of this Mortis arc, leaving there, they forget what happened, but they also didn't even realize that Ahsoka is now the embodiment of the light side of the force. I could also make a video on this if you all want to see more of that. There you go. The top three moments with some honorable mentions that you need to see before you watch the Ahsoka series. If you have some friends that are excited for Ahsoka but maybe have not seen this or they need a refresher, make sure you share this video with them. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and make sure you subscribe for a lot more content just like this. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.